Let's be real, the boys Homelander and Invincible's Omni Man are not on the same level because of their drastic levels of villainy, the different universes they live in, and each character's want to be redeemed. Yes, on the surface, Omni Man and Homelander are similar. Both characters fit the quote unquote evil Superman trope. Both have superpowered sons, and both are on two extremely popular Amazon Prime shows. After all that, they aren't comparable at all. The first reason why you need to stop comparing Omni-Man and Homelander is their drastic levels of villainy. Yes, both of them are menaces to the planet, but at each character's worst, Homelander doesn't hold a candle to Omni-Man's level of terror. Throughout Invincible Season 1, Omni-Man was a demon, from killing an entire superhero team to committing atrocities against humanity and other alien races like the Flaxons. And that wasn't even the worst of it, as he took his son to Subway and Oh boy, they had a feast. Omni Man made his own son eat some of those people's guts in the process. Mark's a trooper. I don't know how you can eat after that. He was an unintentional cannibal. He did all of that while spitting. Fine! What's 17 more years? I can always start again. While beating on his kid. And spoilers for season two, but he didn't even wait 17 years to make another kid. This isn't saying Homelander is an angel, because oh boy, he ain't. From letting an entire airplane of people die, to forcing a troubled girl to fall off a building. And this too. We don't talk about this. Homelander is a straight up villain, and it's laughable how evil Homelander is. He literally has this tight grip around everyone near him with his large platform to elevate his ego. It's much more psychological villainy, which is really horrific. But as scary as that sounds and is, Homelander hasn't scratched the surface of the planet destroying atrocities Omni Man has done for the Vilchelman Empire for God knows how long. Horrifying to think that Omni Man's destruction on Earth was a scratch of what he could do. Homelander could never, and that's why we need to stop comparing them. The next reason why you need to stop comparing Omni Man and Homelander is because of the vastly distinct worlds they live in. The invincible universe where Omni Man lives is a far more expansive universe filled with varieties of aliens and superpowered people. It's a far more fantastical world, being closer to a superhero world like DC or Marvel. While the boys' universe, where Homelander lives, is filled with varieties of social media influencers, PR managers, and Hollywood agents, it's a far more grounded universe, being closer to our own, mostly posing the question of what if superheroes lived in our society, which the differences in these worlds affects how you power scale these characters. In the Invincible universe, Omni Man isn't even the top dog in his universe, with Viltrumites being far stronger than he is. Hell, Alan the Alien is stronger than Omni Man now. So, Omni Man's strength has to inevitably grow, because one, he's a space alien who gets stronger the older he gets, and two, he has to grow in strength to protect those he cares for from far powerful beings. Meanwhile, as far as we know of, Homelander is the top dog in the boys' universe. So his physical strength doesn't have to be tested because his threats aren't formidable, being either basic crooks or super terrorists, which is still scary, but I mean, not as scary as what the Philatomites are. And throughout the boys, his strength isn't even tested. In turn, it makes him far more complacent and lazy. He doesn't even bother to go up close to kill motherfuckers. He just lasers them like they're nothing. Which, Omni Man is literally a different breed, which is why it makes no sense to compare these two whatsoever. The final reason why we need to stop comparing Omni Man to Homelander is their wants to be redeemed. The only way to redemption is realizing and accepting our past flaws and using that to drive our future. We can't change our past, but we can use the past as a lesson. We've all done some terrible shit in our lives, and maybe not some world destroying sins, but still not good stuff. Both of these deep Previous characters did some terrible shit, affecting plenty of people in the process. The way how Homelander cleanses his conscience is by believing himself to be a god amongst other humans, and what god admits their faults. However, Omni Man committed literal crimes against humanity for the sake of the Viltrum Empire. Like, holy shit, those are creative ways to kill people. But after experiencing the love of his battered son one last time, he realizes the crimes he's done for the Viltrumite Empire and admits that he needs to pay for these crimes, leading himself on a path of redemption by the end of Invincible Season 2. I'm not a Viltrumite anymore. Not really. Removing all of those lifelong 
toxic beliefs he's been instilled with. Omni-Man stands out from Homelander by wishing he could take back all the terrible shit he's done to Earth's people, especially what he said about Debbie. He wishes he didn't beat his own son near death, which for once, regret is a good thing. We don't see any regret from Homelander at all. So in turn, one of them is a villain blind to his own evil actions, while the other was a villain and now is on a path of change. So yeah, let's be real here. Homelander and Omni-Man are not on the same level because of their drastic levels of villainy, the different universes they live in, and each character's want to be redeemed. And the beauty slash tragedy of these two awesome characters is that the unredeemable superhuman fell in love from everyone for every moment in his life, even as a child. So he grew blind to his own unloving nature, while the unredeemable planet-conquering Viltrumite felt the love of humanity through his wife and kid for mere moments in his long life. So now he wants to do better. So as corny as it might sound, that is the power of love. Also, Homelander can't compare to Army Man's voluptuous aura. Like, no, for sure. 